In this Fusion 360 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to model threads so they have a tapered lead-in. If we look at these two threads, you can see that this one has a really sharp edge, like it's cut off with a hacksaw. And then this one seems like a normal bolt that you would buy at the store. When you're modeling threads in Fusion 360, this can be complicated because you need to have the operations be in the right order in your timeline. So if we look at this, this looks really great. We can see that this will start well and have a nice taper, whereas this one does not. Let's go ahead and create this tapered lead-in threaded rod in Fusion 360 to see how to do it. The first thing to do is create a new component. I'll label this component lead-in demo, and I'll create a cylinder. This cylinder can be on the ground plane, and I'll create it right here. The dimensions will be 10 millimeters. Press tab, then enter. Then I can type 25 and enter. So far, so good. Now we have a cylinder, and it's very easy to add threads. Just go to the Create menu in Fusion 360, select Thread, then click the outer face. It'll automatically detect what size you may want. So for example, here I have M10 thread pitch of 1.5, and you can change the tolerance. The important thing is to leave modeled unchecked for now. Next, we just need to add a chamfer to this top edge. If you add it to the face, it won't work. I'll show you what happens. So if I go to modify chamfer and I click the face and then I type 1.5 millimeters, this looks great. But then when I activate the modeled feature of the threads, everything looks super ugly and is not modeled correctly. That's because the face doesn't work. It doesn't keep that in memory. So if you want this to work, make sure you click the edge. Right click, edit feature of the threads, turn off modeled, select OK. Then right click, edit feature of the chamfer. We'll go ahead and delete this face. What we want to do is click this edge. Now with only the edge selected, we can type 1.5. Now it has the same chamfer as before, but it was on the edge, not the face. Then go back to the thread. Edit Feature, Modeled, and click OK. So now it models that in the correct way. The key here is to just have the chamfer after the threads. So if you already have modeled threads and you want to fix it, delete your chamfer, move your playhead to before the threads, go Modify, Chamfer, select the edge, then 1.5, Enter, and then just move that chamfer to the end of the timeline, and it'll work just fine. So hopefully this allows you to add perfectly tapered lead-ins on modeled threads in Fusion 360. Happy 3D modeling.